I'm really, I'm really excited about this opportunity to engage with a group of people that I don't know um, from all across the world. And what I would love to find out is, is what, what their experiences have been at work and what are some of the recipes that they've discovered that contribute to their capacity to feel well in the workplace. So it's really what is their story of success? So what have they tried? What have they experienced? What have they seen other people do? And I would really like to learn from the participants who are going to join the session and, and discover through them what's possible. It's been really interesting. The, the past three years I've been focusing on wellness in the workplace and it's been such a challenge. Without COVID, wellness was already a big topic that people were really grappling with and trying to figure out what does the workplace need to do in order to support people's wellness. And so now under COVID, it became a totally different reality and everyone was at home and I started working with a group of people who were all locked in at home and they Nobody knew what was going on and they were under incredible amounts of pressure and stress. And it, it was amazing being able to walk alongside them for that first year while we all kind of figured out what does it mean to feel safe? How do you deal with adversity? How do you cope with so much insecurity and uncertainty? How do you deal with uh, situations where um, you don't have control? How do you cope with so much insecurity and uncertainty. How do you deal with uh, situations where um, you don't have control? And what does it mean to feel secure? And how can you support each other? Yeah, it was a really powerful experience. The capacity of, of people to find solutions and help one another and work together and collaborate and support each other under extremely challenging times was incredibly inspiring. The thing that motivates me the most to have a meaningful impact in the workplace is unlocking energy in other people. And I find that incredibly exciting, figuring out what are the circumstances that people need and what is it that makes them feel safe and secure so that they can start taking risks and they can start exploring what's possible and they can start opening up and testing their own boundaries and their imagination begins to grow. I find that incredibly exhilarating. And, and so whenever I'm in an environment and I'm working with people and I see that shift happen, then I feel like that was a real experience and it was a worthwhile endeavor. It was very interesting when I was in high school, a funny story, when I was in high school and you know in high school they do personality tests and I did my personality tests and I told the guy what I wanted to do and I said, I'm gonna go into psychology. And he looked at me and he said, that's a terrible idea. You can't do that. <laughs> he said to me, he said to me, you have no people skills. You have no skills for working with people as individuals or in groups. And if at a push, you can work with individuals. He says, I recommend that you go into computers. That was his advice to me when I was 17. And, and I remember thinking about it and I thought, well, that doesn't sound very interesting. So I'm not going to go into computers and I pursued a career in psychology and I have continued to work with people and I have found um, working with people the like the love of my life, right? Because human beings are incredible and they're amazing. They have so much within them and their reservoirs for creativity and ingenuity and resourcefulness and compassion, all those incredibly deep and rich capabilities are there and and I think that's really what makes work meaningful is having opportunities to engage with people at that level and support them so that they can discover themselves. Mm -hmm.